Welcome to a new update and in this short update today we're going to look at the top altcoins that you should be looking at if a correction takes place. We're going to discuss three of them in which some of them has been rallying extremely high already and therefore we're going to identify a few important levels you should be looking at when it comes to the markets. Before we continue, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel and also check out our free trade letter in which we provide you with three free trade letter versions every week. And on Monday we do that with the macro outlook and I'll also be making an update on YouTube on that regard. But if you want to also get altcoin setups, definitely check it out. Also, we still have the 30% lifetime discount on our premium memberships. Make sure to check that out if you want to become a part of our copy trading solution, but also can grant you additional trade IDs. And in January, we have been making 35R on this point, which is 35% in profits if you are risking 1% per trade. Now, when we're looking at a few altcoins, that we should be looking at for the next month. I think that the entire volatility has been given already with some of them. So what I technically am looking at right now is that I'll be looking at bounce plays uh, because I'm not assuming that the markets are going to continue rallying. If they do, then those bounce plays can eventually become continuation trades. So you're looking for the higher time frame bounce plays and from that you're going to continue playing the markets based on higher time frames, lower time frames. So the first one is injective protocol, which we definitely could be looking at in the sense that we have been seeing a tremendous run. And therefore we are looking at a case of a correction and we can start identifying a few important levels to watch in which the first real level is the area around $2.10. I'm not assuming we will hit it, but we have, been mar we have to mark it in order to be ready for a potential case. Primarily, we are looking at this area around $2.50 and we are looking at the one at $3.05, which is the previous high. And it's also granting you uh, liquidity beneath this one through which this entire region is the ultimate area for long entries. And then at least we can start making a, tra a trade of 25% to make a bounce play. And if it's going to be a continuation play, which we can see here as well during those corrections that it's just retesting levels and then we continue. Making a continuation play possible makes it happen towards new highs and then we can start becoming a bit more aggressive. So the entire level around $2.57 is actually the level that I'll be looking at. The second uh, coin that I'll be looking at is the one of Fetch, which is currently still rallying and is still facing the resistance at this point, through which we should be looking at a case of a rejection again around the areas of 29 to 30 cents. If we have a break up and fall beneath reject again, that will be saying that we're going to continue falling. If we have a rally and just flip the level, that is a trigger for long entries for continuation in which you can start expecting numbers like 40 cents or more. If we don't get a number of 40 cents or if we don't get that uh, uh, flip of 30 cents at this point, I'll still be looking at a case of 21 cents. Might be waiting until eternity on this one. Uh, but if it starts to reverse and we get the opportunities, these bounce plays are going to be very important to play. And once again, you can start looking for a continuation plays after that. So we can start looking at higher time frames, which technically say here that there are a few less zones to watch. Of course, the area around 15 cents. Then secondly, the area around 18 and a half cents. And then finally, the one around 21 to 23 cents is the one that you should be looking at. And that's my first go to zone. If we are unable to crack 30 cents and continue the rally towards 40 cents. Then finally, I've got another one, which is AXS at this point. The daily time frame, and I'll just do it like this, has been seeing a tremendous breakout in which we have been getting a retest, another rally, and then we've got some retest happening on this previous high. But I think that if the markets are going to correct a bit more, we're going to get retests around nine bucks here, which ultimately results into some giant opportunities, which we can see here. So as you can identify, we are currently having a rejection in this resistance zone. If we break that area and flip, of course, we can start targeting new highs. You can get into uh, sculpt rates with a lower sizing. But if we are not unable to do that and start to fall beneath, 
we clearly have to watch the area around $9.25 before we can start on targeting new highs. But even though if we get towards $9.25, it will grant you a massive opportunity for continuation. That's the update for today. Make sure to hit the like button. Also make sure to check out my uh, Twitter free trade letter. Have a great day. Ciao.